Yeah. So that's always interesting. Like, I really would love to see some more shine uh, shenanigans with Wolf, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I've seen him do, like, shine to bear and then, like, full flash or something like that. Something crazy, but Charlie's always been known to do, like, Twitter combos here and there. But we're going to get started, and both of them just trade off with their fares, it looked like. Yeah, playing pretty slowly in the neutral, but, yeah, Charlie just decides to back up. It's like, okay, too much space. I'm not going to give it to you. I really want to see uh, what Charlie's going to do to get around these showcase boxes, especially the edge guards as well, because Nico is never afraid to go deep on stage, especially when you have an exploder recovery like Wolf. Yep. Big damage coming out from the Buster here. Oh, yeah, that's another thing that kind of got nerfed, uh, the range on the, the Wolf fire. If, you, oh, if yeah. you, if you're standing on the ledge, you have to be a little bit further in now. Well, anyways. A lot of people might consider that... Uh, Kind of helpful enough. Wow, he still swung on it. Oh, okay. I guess he just wasn't really watching Nico closely. I can't he got a vision to work like that. Yeah, that it looked like he waited for it. And then I thought he was going to get the timing right on the punish, but then he, I guess he was still a little bit too antsy on that. So oh. just kind of oh, jumped cool. the gun a bit. That's one of the coolest counters in the game, not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now into Buster Art, trying to exploit that lead a little bit more. And he definitely did that with just two hits. Three hits. That's already a big victory for Nico in this stock. Goes for the up tilt, not quite gonna be able to do it though. Okay. He's gonna swap out of the air with the neutral edge. See if you can get him to get some type of stock in. Nice. Catching the jump from the ledge. Yeah. Pretty common option mm -hmm. for people. That was they very want to nice. Just throw an aerial or jump back to center stage. Mm -hmm. It looked like, well, I mean, just in general, Shulk, he, you know, he has to pull out the sword from his back, so that startup, he definitely caught him there because the bear was already out meeting him when he was already in the air, so that was yeah. just nice from Charlie just uh, beating him out in frames. But now he's just stuck in a ledge situation, so Nico's gonna, is going to be able to probably ledge trap for a little bit, but the fair's actually into a four tilt, keeps him off, and now Charlie's back in the game here. Yeah, great fair stringer. He's got to see if he can land safely, though. Nico's staying under him pretty well. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, right. you can tell. I, I mean, I really like the way that Charlie plays in neutral. He really treats it like a Oh, Ooh. another one. Oh, wow, two vision kills in one game. Yeah. He's, I feel like he's catching Charlie uh, preemptively trying to go for like, a tech chase follow-up mm -hmm. from one of like his neutral airs. And uh, he's just not respecting the fact that Nico can throw out that down B really yeah. early. Mm -hmm. It's like, it, it shifts between how Charlie wants to play like an FGC game where he takes his turn and then, okay, the, the combo's done, I'm just, I'm not going to try and push advantage anymore, we're back in neutral already, yeah. so then I'm just going to try to look for another opening. And then sometimes, he tries to extend himself a bit too far, in just those few instances, that's where Nico's able to find those stocks because of those visions, so. Yeah. Right now, though, Nico's putting all the right cards right here. Choosing his hitboxes very carefully, spacing appropriately with Shulk, making it really difficult for uh, Charlie to get this stock right here. There's a nice back. Off the Ooh. air dodge. Yeah. And now he's got to worry about Smash up the ledge. Ooh. Not going to kill, but he's in so far off stage. Okay. All right. Still, Still going with a Wolf Fire. Not quite doing the Wolf Flash. He can get two frame very easily with that because it doesn't sweet spot the ledge. Yeah. Got to figure out his way in. If he can get the stock without taking too much more damage, then he's still in it. But Shulk with the lead is very difficult to sometimes fight back against because of the different arts he has. But just like that, able to catch another short hop with an anti-air on that up smash. Yeah, just snuck right under him. Didn't see uh, that hitbox coming, Nico. Oh, he gets another grab. Yeah, dash attack again. Nice. No tech. And all of a sudden, that's a lot of damage. And he's able to sustain oh. his lead here. Try to end it all with a down air. Very close, but this is a really good comeback for Charlie, putting himself back in the game. He's gonna go for the tech chaser. No tech from Nico, Ooh. just the angle down four tilt from the fourth throw. Really good stuff there. Oh, big risky safe. situation. How is he gonna get back? He used his double jump really Ooh. early. Cause ledge it, jump. Right, makes it back real nice. Ledge. Not letting him get to center stage and covers the air dodge. Still living. Oh, oh. just kidding. <laughs> Let me go as deep as I can. Make sure you don't get to jump back, start your wolf flash, or anything. Yeah. Well, Wolf is very easy to edge guard if you know that he has to drift into a position to use Wolf Flash. But, and exactly because he had to use Air Dodge to make it back, and I don't think he had a double jump. So he was drifting for Wolf Flash position, and Nico already recognized that, and it was already there before Charlie could really think about what to do next. Yep, it's really smart edge guarding. That's kind of what you're used to seeing from Nico at this point. Uh, really good yep. just using all those skills that. <laughs> 
Yeah, these, these two look so anime. Like, nico has yeah. got that little hair, like, covering oh. his eye, and Charlie's yeah. just like, <laughs> <laughs> he's got the long hair, you know? Nico did just come back from Momocon, so. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's walking in neutral right now. I mean, it's working out, but uh, Charlie gets a little bit of a damage output there. Still, these two pretty even. Just waiting for something to happen. There we go. Finally going to get that fair. All right. Double dash. I got the ledge. Let's get in. Let's see how long you can keep him here. You got your ledge twice. Nice. The long active hit parts are in there to keep him pressure. Got the ledge. Okay. Not going to catch the drift. Nico. Still on the tech chase. Now. That was really nice. He went to speed art, so he used the fair in case to cover the no tech in place. And then he had speed art to catch tech away, too, because I think he had every other option covered. Ooh. Oh man, Ooh. that's so unfortunate. So you got like, directional air dodge, so you would avoid like, getting caught like in a tech chase from Nair to like potential down smash. Mm -hmm. Wasted it off stage, and then couldn't go back when he's up B. Yeah, unfortunate. So. But Charlie's gonna take that to sustain a lead here. I mean, what was it in words of Kakon? Was it really an SD? <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> if I would. pressured my opponent to to miss input off stage. It's true. Definitely take those, especially, you know, since he was struggling to do much in the first game. But there's that retreating forward air in Smash Art. So powerful. Yep. Always uh, always old reliable for, for Nico to take these stocks. Let's be real here. Yeah, the spacing out. And no, Charlie knows that he doesn't have to approach all too much. And then he can just get catch something with low hit stun and then hit back with a neutral air or something else. Yeah, that's usually where the, the blaster is used yeah. for, for Wolf. It's like when your opponent's trying to get back to the center stage, and it's like, okay, you're trying to jump. I'm just going to catch you while you land. So I really don't see that nerf uh, being too big an issue like we already discussed. Oh, And the shield push, very smart from Charlie, just catching uh, that option there. Oh, man, Nico gets so much for when he's in Buster. He's like, he positions, he ties hitboxes like so well to or you like want to drop shield because it's like he slightly delays it, but then he just hits you. And actually, you know your percent just racked up really high. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't quite react to that bear. Shokso's got a lot of resources to make back to the stage, especially when they're oh, close. Ooh. That's, that's rough. When you drop shield on the second hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe he was trying to parry it. I don't know. But uh, it got a little bit mis-executed there. Now the fair trains are coming in. Smash Art kind of drifted him too far back to be able to string on the platform. So that kind of helped him out there. I think that's why he didn't switch off with Smash Art. Ooh, Woo! Big damage with the Wolf Flash. Like it falling fair into the side beat from Charlie. Mm -hmm. Really just building on his percent lead really well. But does get caught by that back air. 87% is not anything too crazy. Especially if Nico can get like something started in Buster. But he's going to try to use the nature of Speed Art to control the stage. Make it pretty hard for Charlie to get on it. Okay. Fourth throw. Yeah, try to catch a double jump back to stage. Not quite able to find it. He's looking for these back airs, potentially. Right, really good retreating forwards again, but okay, goes in this time. Not letting Charlie follow up with any type of tech chase. But here's Buster. No wolf flash. Tried to end it all there. Getting yeah. really close. Gotta watch the shield. That, that added shield stun from Buster is really scary. Yeah, all of a sudden, oh. very even game. You can tell Charlie's looking for those uh, kill options. It's not quite oh. happening, but there we go. Strong there. Finally, we'll be able to do it. Really safe. Nico yeah, says yeah, run Nico's it back. He doesn't, back. Even, doesn't back. even look at Charlie. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, man, these two are so anime. Dude, like, I can't tell. Like, Nico looks like he's, he's so sleepy. <laughs> or he's just, like, what do you mean? Focused. That's how he looks all the time. Yeah, I guess I don't look at his face enough, but it's, it's like, it's like, it's like, like especially it's, it's exactly the same as Void, except when Void's at majors, then he like opens his eyes a bit more. But for the most part, they're always looking sleepy. <laughs> I guess run it back to the PS2, man. Yeah, you got that game. You can run it back. I mm -hmm. run the first game. It's a. Uh, I don't know. Everyone seems really comfortable on this stage at this point. It seems like the stage that everyone just picks by default. Mm -hmm. Especially in, at least in, in our region, I feel like we de everyone defaults to PS2 way more. Uh, especially at the top level. I don't know what it is. I guess they just don't want to make, make the stage a separate factor since like the different platforms are definitely uh, much more of a factor than in previous games because of the way you, can, you can't go through them anymore. But anyways, already getting a good amount of damage tacked onto each other. No clear advantage so far for either player. 
Okay, nice. Forward air in the jump bar, getting, covering a lot of the stage here. Going to drift back to the other side. Let's see where Sho can do his work here. Great parry, but doesn't follow up immediately. Mm -hmm. And he got, he got blown up for trying to pull out Blaster like that when they're in close quarter combat. Not quite going to work out here. Oh, I like the oh. idea with the Wolf Flash to try and catch him off guard, but he had a shield up in time, so Nico, or Nico's going to take that stock. Okay. Nico just holding on to his lead here. Playing really safe. I, don't like, I just like how much he walks in neutral, honestly. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's a really underrated thing that people should do more. Yeah, I mean, with Ken buffed, I feel like we're going to see that oh, a bit more yeah. often. Yeah. <laughs> since uh, they can just walk and face you in the same way like an actual uh, 2D fighter. Yeah, I was playing a, a Ken recently, and they were just doing that to me, and I just feel like I was playing a, a Street Fighter match. Yeah, so these two are trying to emulate that so far in their play style, but we'll have to see. Let's see what happens next. Goes for the strong there. Great Ooh. parry into Forza. So, wow, that was a great punish, actually. Yeah, that was beautiful. Especially on a maneuver like that, using the jump art through the ledge. Mm -hmm. A lot of people would just get caught guard by that. Right. Oh, another parry. That's that's what I like uh, Charlie's doing now. He's kind of adapting and figuring out the tempo of how Nico's been landing with aerials. Yep. For the most part against sword characters, they kind of have the same timing whenever they land with aerials. So it's, true. it's easier to parry them against uh, 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 compared to other characters, I'd say. That's definitely true. But again, the range kind of beating out Charlie so far. Yeah, trying to use the blaster to make it back to stage. Not quite going to work out. Smash Hearts there. Okay, Firewolf comes in. Going to respect that option, oh, but it doesn't man. respect the jump. I wonder why Charlie feels uh, so safe to jump from ledge in that situation. It just seems like it's very risky to do, especially when you have to do it, you know, Shulk aerials. Mm -hmm. Maybe he just feels like the other options are going to get blown up anyway, so like jump's like the quickest one, but... Uh, regardless, it's uh, just a difficult situation being at the ledge against like a character like Shulk. So, okay, another up smash not going to kill. He's going to use the jump bar to retreat to the other side of the stage. Really smart stuff from Nico. But there's another parry. Yeah, yeah, I, he's really trying hard to get these stocks off. <laughs> yeah, I would like to see Nico uh, since Charlie already got a, kind of a rhythm of how he's going to fall in his shield with the aerial. Mm -hmm. He should try to mix up some empty up grabs. Specifically, like maybe in speed, since he can fall down a little bit faster. Yeah. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, the fair beats him out. Doesn't get the, j right. the grab though. The spot dodge comes in clutch for Nico. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it, it, yeah, I know. Like they just run next to each other and then they both retreat the other way. Yeah. Like I don't want their white hitbox first. You're ready to punish that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that just shows the level of, like how these two respect each other in play. That they they're afraid to commit. Because this is a last stock situation, they know that if either of them messes up, it can be death wow. just like that. And there to tech chase down smash. That does it. Charlie with a little mini pop off getting yeah. it. And Nico just doesn't even look at him again. He says, you know what, just run it back one more time. Let's do it. Yeah, that was really rough, especially since he was in Smash Art taking the bonus knockback from that too. That was mm -hmm. just really good from Charlie to recognize. If he hits this tech chase right here, you can definitely steal the game. Well, seal the game, really. Yeah. That was very even. But uh, now we have... 2-1. Nico again running it back to PS2. Charlie one game away from going to winner's finals against uh, T3 Dome. Not T3 Dome, sorry, Nitro. Getting my Richter mains messed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're both really good. They both have glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. One more time. Nico trying to push his advantage a little bit more, but kind of gets blown up for it. But the low hit stun on shield mode, that's going to just reset these two back, actually. I like that even though Shulk has tried to up, or Shulk, Nico has tried to up the tempo of the match, that Charlie's been able to keep up yeah. with him in terms of that tempo. Like, you see that Shulk's throwing out a bunch of hitboxes, more so than the last two games, and then Charlie's following up exactly the same, though. Yeah, I feel like Charlie and maybe a lot of really good players in general just are really good at switching between playing, like, super fast and super patient. Mm -hmm. They're not just stuck in one kind of mode of play. Yeah. That down smash is very uh, scary. Woo! Dang. Oh, you don't want to see that. That was Tried a... Go super hard off stage with that deep edge guard and just couldn't even come back. 
really rare SD from Nico too, and uh, Charlie's gonna take it to the bank. Yeah, I mean, he already got 70 off of one big combo. Oh, and He's still going, actually. Too, yeah. He's got the positioning. Oh, he tried to get a follow-up afterwards. Not quite. Still, yeah, that's almost a stock overlap. Uh, he can get a stock real soon, actually. It's a matter if Nico lets him back to the stage, though. He's still got the ledge control. Smash art has gone for a bit. Yeah, and he decides to give him a little bit of space. Okay. I like the episode. It's really strong move and a lot of... Uh, you know, he doesn't really throw it out that much, so a lot of people aren't prepared to just react to it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if Nico can make a comeback happen. Of course, it's never out of the realm of possibilities to be careful like Shulk, because he can rack a percent really fast if he gets Buster, and his edge guards are really strong on Wolf. Wow, he's going to let him charge the whole thing. Dash attack, punish. Yeah, he just went for a quick punish. It's like, I know you're gonna you can probably spot that and then cancel that into another like smash attack, so I'll just go for my quick option here. Still going to take off that stock with the back air, it looks like. Charlie with a pretty good lead. A good position to put himself in winner's finals here. Yeah, this is uh, really big for Charlie. And again, he's just not uh, forcing anything either. He's seeing he has such a big lead. He doesn't necessarily need to run it and just get too uh, overconfident just because he has a lead right now. Right. Oh, just intercepts him in the air-to-air. -air. Another tech check situation. Charlie's been doing an amazing job of maintaining offense once he's got an opening. But he's got no jump here. Potential edge guard, but oh, Nico yeah, flubs it. Yeah, he flubbed it a little bit there. Catches the up smash, but Nico trying to send him back off the stage. Using the Buster Hard backslash and uh, Ender there. Wasn't mm -hmm. faced backwards, so it wouldn't have done the added percent. Oh, nice. still another tech chase situation. Nico's been teching in a lot of the times. He doesn't really go for a roll. So that just gives Wolves a lot of opportunities. He doesn't have to react to anything. Nice facing and choice to switch to the smash art to get the dash attack punish on Charlie's miss up B. But uh, let's see if Nico can bring this one back. It's going to take quite a bit. Charlie's not making it easy at all. Yeah, I think Charlie's been playing really well. Uh, he's maintaining his advantage position one more time. I think he let himself. I think he almost let himself get hit there, or try to parry it maybe to keep up his positioning. And I got a potential juggle, not quite, but now he's using up his shield art, so nice. that's going to be a big opportunity for Charlie yeah, to I, maintain some offense here. I like how he even pummeled him while using shield too, just to lower it just as uh, long as possible. Yeah. Another nair sends him the wrong direction. 172 onto Nico. Finally, four tilt's going to do it. Yeah. Charlie takes it, three one. Yeah, good stuff for Charlie. Just playing really solid overall. Not letting uh, I don't even Nico get any free stuff on him really. Mm -hmm.